SpaceX has lost rockets before, but never like this. This wasn't a routine failure. This was a mission that felt ripped straight out of science fiction. A Falcon 9 rocket, loaded with highly classified observational gear, sent to chase down something humanity had only dreamed of touching, an object from another star system. The target, a colossal interstellar comet known as 3I Atlas. At first, everything looked on track, but then the instruments picked up something no scientist could explain, a violent energy spike, a magnetic field fluctuation that didn't just bend the rules of physics, it broke them completely. And then, silence, the rocket was gone. But here's the part almost nobody talks about. Just before it vanished, Pathfinder 4, because that was the secret mission's real name, sent one final data packet back to Earth. A fragment of information so mysterious that to this day, whispers about it echo through the halls of Cape Canaveral like a ghost story. This wasn't just another launch. This was a gamble unlike anything humanity had ever attempted. No flashy press conference, no live stream countdown, just a humid Florida night, a jet black Falcon 9 streaking into the sky and a handful of insiders holding their breath. Their mission, catch up to a visitor traveling more than 152,000 miles per hour, a speed so fast it could cross the United States in under two minutes. And this wasn't any ordinary visitor. Discovered by the Atlas survey in Chile, 3I Atlas became only the third confirmed interstellar object ever seen. A relic older than Earth itself, drifting across the void, carrying secrets from a solar system we'll never set foot in. Scientists called it a ghost in the dark, and for good reason, because what happened when Pathfinder 4 drew near would change everything. The comet was never a danger to Earth. It would pass at a safe distance of about 167 million miles. But what nobody talks about is why it became such an irresistible target. You see, this wasn't just another interstellar rock drifting through space. 3I Atlas was bigger, far bigger than its famous predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov. Scientists estimated it could stretch nearly six miles across, a frozen time capsule carrying the raw ingredients from another star's ancient neighborhood. People dream about alien civilizations and little green men, but in truth, the real treasure is in the chemistry. By studying the gases and dust swirling around this comet, the glowing coma that made it shimmer like a ghost ship in the dark, we could begin to answer one of science's most haunting questions. Is the recipe for life written everywhere in the universe or only here on Earth? At least that was the official story. The one scientists whispered about in closed-door meetings and encrypted briefings, Pathfinder 4 was rumored to be carrying microprobes, tiny robotic collectors that could dive through the comet's coma and bring back particles of interstellar dust. A bold plan but nearly impossible, chasing something hurtling through space at over 150,000 miles per hour demanded flawless calculations and a launch window so thin it could vanish in seconds. Every maneuver, every engine burn had to be perfect, but here's what most people overlooked. This wasn't just a scientific stunt. The risks, the cost, the sheer danger, it didn't add up for just dust. And that's because Pathfinder 4 had a secret second mission, one that only a handful of mission directors and Space Force liaisons knew about. Hidden deep inside the Falcon 9's payload was something extraordinary, an experimental deep space resonant imaging device. Not a camera, not a telescope, something designed to see through solid ice and rock, to peer inside the comet itself. And as Pathfinder 4 pushed its engines harder than any Falcon 9 had before, mission control back in Hawthorne, California was bracing for either triumph or disaster. The tension in mission control was calm, but heavy, like the air before a storm. Pathfinder 4 was performing flawlessly, hitting every single trajectory marker with surgical precision. On the massive screen, two dots slowly drew closer together, one for the Falcon 9, the other for the interstellar comet, 3I Atlas. Hours bled into days, each tick of the clock pulling them closer to history. Finally, the moment came. Pathfinder 4 was within range. The command was sent. Deploy the payload. Activate the scanner. At first, everything was exactly as expected. The data flowed back cleanly. Water ice, frozen carbon dioxide, a cocktail of organic compounds, exactly what scientists had hoped to confirm. But then the resonant imaging sequence began. A low-frequency wave pulsed through the comet's core. And what came back was not the random chaotic echo of ice and dust. No, it was something far more chilling. The signal was structured, layered, complex. In other words, artificial. For a heartbeat, no one spoke. The control room froze under the weight of the f Impossible. Then before anyone could process what they were seeing, it happened. The comet erupted, not with gas or dust, but with a massive surge of energy radiating outward from deep inside its core. Across the void, Earth's own magnetic field warped in response, satellites registering the shockwave 150 million miles away. Pathfinder's telemetry stuttered, garbled, then collapsed into meaningless code. And in an instant, nothing. Black. 
The spacecraft and its terrifying discovery vanished without a trace. Mission Control sat paralyzed, staring at the dead screens. The silence wasn't calm anymore. It was suffocating, heavy. Every person in that room understood the same horrifying truth. They hadn't just intercepted a comet, they had triggered a message, a signal from the dark. On the massive screen in Mission Control, the words appeared in stark white against the black. Loss of signal. At first, the engineers refused to believe it. Fingers flew across keyboards as commands were sent, pings hurled into the void, desperate for even the faintest reply. But nothing came back. No echo. No static. No trace. It was as if the Falcon 9 had been erased, wiped clean from existence. Now, here's what most people don't realize about deep space missions. Spacecraft aren't fragile. They're built with layer upon layer of backups, multiple antennas, redundant communication systems, secondary and even tertiary power sources, fail-safes for the fail-safes. For everything to go silent at once? That's not a malfunction. That's not even bad luck. That's impossible unless something made it happen. And the proof was there. The smoking gun. Just before the blackout, satellites across the solar system detected a colossal wave of electromagnetic energy. It wasn't random. It wasn't natural like a solar flare. This energy was localized, targeted, and chillingly, it matched the exact frequency of the resonant scanner Pathfinder 4 had just fired into the comet. It wasn't an accident. It was a response. In the hours that followed, the mood inside mission control shifted from confusion to dread. This wasn't just a mission failure. It felt like a provocation, a warning shot across the bow of humanity's curiosity. Had we awakened something? Had we kicked a hornet's nest the size of a solar system? The final scraps of data from those last seconds became the most valuable and terrifying files on Earth. Among them was the pattern signal returned from deep inside the comet's core. It wasn't random noise. It wasn't natural structure. It was organized, structured, intelligent. Not a language we could understand, but unmistakably designed. The recovered signal was unlike anything humanity had ever seen. Buried inside the static were complex mathematical structures, prime numbers, repeating sequences, geometric patterns. These things do not happen in nature. They were deliberate. They were a statement. A cosmic voice whispering across the void, we are here, and we see you. But in the midst of the panic, almost everyone overlooked one final fragment. Less than a kilobyte of corrupted data had slipped through the blackout a shredded piece of the resonant image. A team of specialists worked night and day to reconstruct it, piecing it together like archaeologists uncovering a relic. When the picture finally emerged, the room fell into stunned silence. It was not the chaotic, frozen core of a comet. It was something impossible. Buried inside that six-mile-wide chunk of ice was a perfectly symmetrical metallic structure, vast, latticed, and intricate, spanning over a mile across, sealed beneath layers of rock and frozen vapor. This was no natural object hiding a piece of technology. The comet itself was the technology. A spacecraft, perfectly disguised as a wandering fragment of celestial debris. And suddenly, its trajectory through our solar system no longer felt random. What had once been dismissed as a harmless flyby, now looked deliberate. The question wasn't whether it was just passing through. The question was, what was its purpose? A probe. People have always dreamed about first contact. Radio signals from distant stars. Golden records floating through the cosmos. But no one imagined it would arrive like this. A silent, ancient visitor cloaked in ice, answering humanity's curiosity with a single violent warning, and then, silence. The echo in the void was the message. Pathfinder 4 was the reply. Whether we meant to or not, humanity had just announced its presence on the interstellar stage, not with a handshake, not with a greeting, but by waking up a defense system aboard a vessel of unimaginable power. The question was no longer, are we alone? The question now was, what comes next? The revelation that Atlas was not a comet, but a camouflaged vessel, changed everything. The mission's details were buried under the deepest levels of classification, locked away from the public. But secrets that bit don't stay buried forever and the implications were too enormous to contain. And here's the chilling part. The signs were there all along. We just didn't recognize them. When scientists traced Atlas's path backward through time, something extraordinary emerged. Its trajectory aligned with strange historical anomalies, stories from civilizations like the Mayans and Egyptians who wrote of wandering stars that moved through the heavens with unnatural speed and purpose. Objects that didn't behave like planets or comets, but something else entirely. For centuries, scholars dismissed those tales as myth, the imagination of ancient stargazers. But what if they weren't myths at all? What if they were eyewitness accounts? Take the Niebuhr sky disk, an ancient bronze artifact discovered in Germany, over 3,600 years old. It depicts the night sky, but one cluster of stars has baffled astronomers for decades. It didn't match any known constellation, yet when Atlas's path was projected back through time, it passed directly through that same point in the sky. Coincidence? Or a record left by our ancestors of a previous flyby? If so, then this vessel, this probe, may not have been visiting us for the first time. 
it could be part of something much larger, a long-term survey of Earth, a silent, patient observation stretching across millennia, and that's the part that twists the knife. Think about the scale, a civilization capable of building a six-mile-wide probe, hiding it under ice, and sending it across light years of empty space isn't just advanced, it's operating at a level of technology we can't even begin to comprehend. To us, it would look like magic. Comparing our rockets to theirs is like comparing a hand-carved canoe to a nuclear submarine. One scrapes the surface, pushed forward by human muscle, the other can dive to crushing depths, powered by forces we barely understand. And in this analogy, we're still paddling. The truth hit like a slap. Whatever hid inside 3 Eye Atlas moved and acted in a way our best minds couldn't touch. Imagine a hand-carved canoe staring up at a nuclear submarine and thinking it can fight. That's the scale gap here. The Falcon 9 didn't fail from bad engineering or bad luck. It was stopped by a pulse of energy so clean and powerful it left no wreckage, no shredded radio trail, only an absence. That single burst proved we are hopelessly outmatched. This wasn't a friendly first contact or a cinematic handshake across the stars. It felt more like a microbe suddenly noticing the scientist peering into its dish. In our rush to learn, we poked something we didn't understand, and it reacted exactly as a sentinel would, instantly, precisely, and without mercy. So what was its purpose? The kindest answer is that it's a passive archive, a floating library of data that automatically defends itself when probed too closely. But a darker idea has gained traction. These are not just probes, they are guardians. Picture a network of sentinels scattered through the galaxy, watching quietly for civilizations that reach a dangerous level of technology, then tripping an invisible alarm the moment those civilizations begin to meddle beyond their world. If that's true, the disappearance of Pathfinder 4 may have been less an attack and more a test, a warning to step back and wait. That changes everything about how we hunt for life. We spend fortunes listening for radio waves, assuming aliens would shout like us, when the real intelligence might be silent, patient, and disguised as ordinary space rocks. What if every comet and asteroid is secretly a device, a sleeping sentinel? The discovery of 3 Eye Atlas forces us to face a terrifying possibility. The universe might be heavily guarded, and we just tripped the wrong wire. We reached out and the void replied with a cold, precise message, we are seen, we are not ready. Is this a one-time warning, or the start of something far bigger? Tell me what you think in the comments, and if you want more strange space stories, hit like and subscribe, because this story is only beginning.